school video. I know it's very important and dear to your hearts. So we are bringing it to you. You guys asked for some locker decoration inspiration. So, oh, that rhymed. Locker decoration inspiration. <laughs> so we put our heads together and thought of some awesome things that you could make to put in your locker to make it look way cuter. Including something I did when I was back in high school. So this first one is like a pen or possibly chalk holder. Mm -hmm. uh, we used some old tins. We found this tea one from a thrift store. And this Burt's Bees one is from when we bought some chapstick. Yeah, seriously, just hit up your local Value Village Goodwill for old tins. We went to Michael's and grabbed some pretty good quality magnet strips with a mm -hmm. sticky back. And then we just cut them to the right size and stuck them on. <laughs> Can't really get much easier than that. And then we just placed them inside of our locker and put some pens and chalk inside them. So the next DIY that we did are these super duper cute DIY um, Clothes pegs is the word you're looking for, Becky. So we got an entire bag of clothes pegs from Dollarama for like $1.25 for an entire bag of 60 of them, I think. Don't need that many. No. Pretty much what we did was just grab some paint and just went creative with it and yeah. painted different designs on these clothes pegs. To get this one chevron-esque arrow pattern, we just cut arrows, the shape of arrows, out of masking tape and laid it on and then painted over top. And then peeled off the tape when you're done. And voila! And then we did some like ombre, like fading watercolor, watercolor looks using watercolors. Water <laughs> um, and that's pretty much our designs. And then when they're done drying, you can go back to your magnetic strip, sticky strip, mm -hmm. tape, magnets, and cut it. We had to cut this in half because it was a little bit too thick. And then we just laid those on the back of our clothes pegs. Yeah, when you have a metal locker, magnets are your best friend. Put them on everything. <laughs> yeah, and you can use this to hold your schedule. A schedule is something that you definitely need in your locker because even though you do the same thing like every other day, you always forget. I do, I did, all the time. <laughs> so we got this chalkboard vinyl paper from Walmart and it was only like six dollars and we thought that we could use this for the inside of the locker as well as many other projects in the future. Mm -hmm. Kid, I, I kid, some of you just cried. Uh, when I was in high school, me and my friend actually in grade nine, you have to share a locker. And at the dollar store, they carried this like shelving, shelf liner, shelf liner, but it was like sticky. So if you can find that, we had that in black. This was like before the whole chalkboard phase. <laughs> okay. So we had that just in black on our locker, and then we had gel pens and colored sharpies, oh, yeah. like metallic sharpies, mm -hmm. and then like people would write messages inside our locker. Yeah. So this. that's like an update, this is an updated version <laughs> of that. Sticky vinyl is the best because you can totally redo your locker, but it comes off and you won't leave marks. Because remember, we got in big trouble if we left marks on our lockers at the end of the year. Janitor, not be I happy did. with you. I had sharpie in mine. Becky! I should have watched this DIY back then. Now this little gem is something that would look good on your refrigerator, in your dorm, or in your locker. Mm -hmm. This is the easiest thing to do. Pretty much it's just taking like your original like childhood magnet letters. Alphabet, alphabet letters. letters. We all had these. Um, and just making them a little more chic. <laughs> chic! So we actually found this pack of magnetic alphabet letters at Toys R Us, um, but I believe Walmart might carry them in the States. And obviously like anywhere online because the internet is Infinity, your best friend. <laughs> so pretty much what we did was took all these letters, laid them out outside, and just gave them a nice coat of bright gold spray paint. And they just look awesome. They do, they look expensive now, and they look awesome. <laughs> and they'll look awesome wherever you place them. And the last thing that we made, this is not really decoration, but it's the best locker insert thing that you could have, and I totally wish I had this in high school because I would have used it so much. Yes. Um, but what we did is we made kind of like a high school locker emergency kit, uh, and we decorated ours to be kind of like vintage-y looking. So what we did was we got this box from Value Village, but we actually realized that there was a Dollarama sticker, sticker on it, <laughs> so you can also get them from Dollarama. Mm -hmm. We painted the whole thing white, and we spray painted the inside um, a bright color just to mm -hmm. make it a little bit more fun. And then we painted on a cross by just lining, using some tape to mask out a stencil. 
cross stencil and then we colored it in gold because we thought red was a little too obvious but hey that's your thing go for it any color you want really. emergency and then our next step was once it was dry we actually took some sandpaper and just kind of sanded off the metal portion so it kind of made it really rustic looking. Mm -hmm. It looks old that way. So some of the things that we decided to put in our emergency kit were things like Advil, perfume, some bobby pins, nail file, lip balm, mints, some hair bands, band-aids, some tampons, and deodorant. Because you never know when you're gonna need any of those things. You won't know, but <laughs> now you have them. So many times in high school I ran out of like every one of those things and was like, ah, you have running around the halls asking people if they have any. It's you want to be that person that has everything. It's great. <laughs> but you gotta like keep on the DL, otherwise like... Or else you're like the personal stock room for everybody. Yeah. I'm missing Like them. the one kid who opens a pack of gum and everyone's like... Oh my gosh. They have gum. You need to like be on the DL with all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, DIY locker decoration tips and that you try them. And let us know if you want any more back to school videos. We have a couple more ideas, but definitely give us some options in the... <gasps> pull the me! I pulled the Becky in the... Amen. We also have a behind the scenes of kind of like our whole day today, going and getting everything and then coming here and making it. Mission. And a little surprise I had for Becky. <laughs> so go out and check our vlog channel to yeah. see like a behind the scenes of what this video was all about. All right, we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.